Hey, I'm Bob at I Like To Make Stuff. Today we're gonna make three simple projects for your bathroom. Earlier this year, we completely renovated our master bathroom. We did two videos about that process. If you've not seen them, be sure to go check them out. But when we were doing the bathroom, there were a bunch of little details that we never got around to doing, like making a place to hang a hand towel. We're making a soap dish. But the big thing was over here around the bathtub. We never made any kind of shelving or a place to put any art. So today, we're gonna do that, plus those two little projects and make some simple things that you could make for your bathroom as well. Let's do it. First, we're gonna start with the soap dish. And for that, I'm gonna use a scrap piece of teak. Teak is great in wet applications. It's often used on boats for seats and panels and things like that. So this should hold up pretty well. I've got a quarter inch dado blade set up on the table saw. And so I'm gonna cut some slots and then cut this down into strips. Now I've put the regular blade back on the table saw so I can cut this piece down into some quarter inch strips so that they'll fit into these slots. Just gotta cut some more strips to fit down inside these. Use some of the other scrap pieces as spacers to evenly space these lines before I glue them together. Before I put those spacers in though, I'm gonna cover them with blue tape. And that's so that once they get exposed to the glue, they don't actually get glued into the piece that I'm trying to make. I took out those spacers, this thing's all dry. And so now basically I have a little trivet. You could keep it like this and just lay some soap on top of it, but I think I'm gonna shape it a little bit more. And I realized that I actually made it big enough to cut in half and make two separate soap dishes, which works great because we have two sinks in the bathroom. So I'm gonna cut this in half and then shape the inside so the soap will sit down a little bit and then put some oil on it and call this one done. I'm gonna put some oil on this and I just happen to be using teak oil, but you could use anything. Now obviously this is not a soap dish that's like a solid dish that's gonna catch all the soap goo, but the good thing is this will definitely dry out faster than something like that would. All the water can fall through it and it's not gonna soak into the teak, especially once it's oiled. I was actually having a hard time getting the oil down in all these different little grooves, so I just poured it over this piece into a little container, and then after I get it fully covered, I can pour all this oil back into the can to save it and use it later. In a minute, we're gonna make some shelves out of some big pieces of cedar, but first, I'm gonna use some other scraps of teak that I have. I printed out some hexagon templates. We're gonna put these on top of these scraps of teak and cut that out, and then we'll use that as a base to make a towel hanger. I'm figuring this out as I go along, but here's where I'm at. 
I think this is gonna mount to the wall with some key hanger holes on the back side. We'll put those in in a little bit. And then this little piece will mount to the front. Through this hole, I'm gonna put a piece of brass rod that I'm gonna bend down into a hook shape and that hook will hold the towel. I've marked out some markings on here of equal segments and that's because I'm gonna make this hook kind of like a hexagon but not all the way around. It's gonna be just chopped off at the bottom. So I've got three segments here of the same length to mimic this side, this side, and this side and then a short one which will kind of hook up and stop about right here. So I'm gonna end up making brass in that shape. I used a bandsaw for that just because it's quick and easy, but you can cut this with a hacksaw or an angle grinder or anything you have. I'm using this angle finder and I'm gonna set it to 120 degrees so I can use it as a match for each one of the bends I'm making this piece of brass. So this is kind of where we're at. I'm liking it mostly, but I do think there's some details that need to be fixed. I think we're gonna add a small chamfer to this just so it's not quite so blocky. I think we need to polish this, but not completely polish it shiny. I just wanna get rid of the black. I kind of like the tarnished look, so we're gonna figure out how to do that. And I wanted to point out that the bending method I used for this did work, but it's really inconsistent. And that means that the radius on these is all a little bit different, and I think that's based on the amount of heat and where I put it. So I think with enough practice, you could probably get this really consistent, but just know that if you try to do this, it's gonna be really hard to get a perfect hexagon. I tried to add that small bevel using the sander and it does work, but it's kind of inconsistent. If that's all you got, you can totally use it. I'm gonna use a router table just to make sure that it's a consistent bevel all the way around. It's a good little detail. I think it helped a lot and the router table is the way to go if you've got one. Before we attach this piece to the front of our mount, we first need to drill some keyholes in the back and that's gonna make it easier to hang on the wall. I'm gonna do two of these so that it won't roll and pivot on a single screw, but the keyhole uses a special bit. This is a keyhole bit. It has a bigger end and a smaller shaft. So you plunge it down into the piece of wood, making a big hole, and then you drag the bit, making kind of a slot underneath it. You'll see what I mean. With this keyhole, now you can put a screw in the wall and then you slide the fitting over the screw and then drop it down and it locks into there. Next up, we're gonna make two shelves to put on the wall above the bathtub, and that way we can put some plants up there and make that nice and pretty. We're gonna use a really tried and true, very simple shelf bracket made out of cedar. We're gonna start by ripping down the cedar into one and a half inch strips, and then we're gonna put a piece on the back wall, a piece at a 45 degree angle, and then a piece at the top to support the shelf. I've got the back pieces cut and the top piece cut, and now I have to figure out the diagonal piece. I could do the math there if I wanted to go all the way to the end, but I think it would actually look better to push the diagonal piece in a little bit. So instead, I'm just gonna hold the tape up here and get a measurement and then cut a piece to fit. This is what it's gonna look like when it's all glued together. I wanna to use one of these pieces to mimic a shelf, which will fit right in here on top of the bracket. Now I'm leaving this extra part sticking up back here so we can drive in a screw here and down here at the bottom, and those will go into the studs to make sure that this thing is nice and strong. I'm gonna go ahead and glue all three of these together, and then we'll come back and reinforce by pre-drilling and driving in some screws into all these joints.
These are quick and easy to put together. I've got the holes in them ready to be mounted onto the studs, and then we'll lay a piece of cedar across them for the shelf and drive in a couple small screws to hold it in place. But first, we gotta put some finish on them. We've got these projects all done, now it's time to mount them in the bathroom. For the towel holder, we're just gonna use some drywall anchors. I got those screws driven into the anchors, and you wanna adjust those depths so that it's really tight when you put this on. That way when you slide it down onto the keyholes, it really locks in place and is on there really solid. And like I mentioned before, with the soap dishes, soap and water is gonna fall through these holes, obviously. So if you don't want that on your counter, you could always use this on the edge of a bathtub or in a shower. And lastly, we're gonna put the shelves on the wall. For the finish on these, I did several coats of spray lacquer with a light sanding in between the first couple of coats. These aren't gonna come in contact with water, just the humidity in the room. So they may expand, they may change shape a little bit over time, but they won't get soaked in water like the other pieces might. To get these mounted in the studs so that they're nice and strong, I used a stud finder to find where they're gonna go this direction, and now I've gotta level them so that the shelf on top of them sits level. To get these mounted in the wall, I'm using two and a half inch drywall screws, and that length accounts for the thickness of the bracket, the drywall, and then getting into the stud behind it. Now this one is really close to the top, so if you do something like this, you might wanna give yourself a little bit more headroom here, or just make sure that you don't overdrive the screw and split this piece of wood. Now we're gonna put the shelves on these brackets, but before we do that, I wanna point out a couple of things. I wanted this to be super strong. So I've got these going into the studs, and that means that they're not centered within this wall. If it's more important to you to have them centered than to have them as strong, you could use drywall anchors instead. Also, I made it so that these brackets stick up above and actually stop the shelf from going all the way back to the wall. That's fine for plants because the pots of the plants can't set all the way against the wall anyway. But if that's important to you, if you want this edge to go all the way against the wall, all you gotta do is notch out a little area so that they'll fit over the bracket. The last thing to attach these shelves, I'm gonna pre-drill and countersink a hole right here so that I can drive in a short screw and that'll just stop this top piece from being able to slide off. Now we've loaded up those shelves with some plants, check them out. So if your bathroom is old and out of date or maybe just boring, some of these functional accents make a huge difference in how it works and how it looks. We're super happy to have all these plants in here and we're probably gonna end up adding some more. If you learned some stuff or got some ideas for your own space from this video, I would love to hear about it down in the comments. You should definitely subscribe because we've got tons of other project videos that you may wanna check out. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, see you next time. And then we'll bend some brass to make the actual towel hanger. Tower hanger. In a minute. In a minute. Here we go. Pew, 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 pew. The end. Now just imagine them here.